Hello everybody, my name is Matt, and this will be the start of my fifth year teaching English in China. I've taught at four different universities, and today I thought it would be a good idea to take you inside, give you a look around the inside of the apartment. Perhaps you're thinking about coming to China and teach English, and you really want to see what the apartment's like. In my experience, they're all generally going to be the same. So this is the apartment block where I live right here. And lucky me, I'm on the fifth floor. So come on, follow me up, and I'll give you a look around. We're going to go in the stairwell first. This is, come on in. This is the kind of thing that if they showed you first, it might scare you away, but I'm going to show it to you first. Stairwells can be like a scene from the movie Saw, but don't let that deter you. Press on. You will get a lot of exercise in China because there are stairs everywhere. You'll always be climbing the stairs. I lost a lot of weight when I first came to China. Just going up and down the stairs to my apartment every day. Okay, we're almost there. I just got to this apartment last month. They showed me in. Here we are. The big heavy metal door. That's a little bit. So, if you're thinking about coming to China to teach English when you come in uh, to teach at the universities, I don't know much about the elementary schools and the middle schools, if you come in to teach at the universities, you're probably going to have an apartment that looks something like this. So, uh, let me, we're just going to go through and I'll show you what's usually here. Luckily, I have a new fridge, which is nice. You'll probably have a refrigerator and a microwave. Over here, the bathroom. So, in China, you've probably heard the shower and the toilet are usually in the same room, so you may have to get used to that, but that's just the way it is. Um, you'll probably have a small washer just for you. And there is a hot water heater usually for the shower. And the washing machine and the sink usually just have cold water. So if you need warm water to wash your clothes or wash the dishes, then you can fill up using some warm or hot water from the heater. Over here is the gas burner. So there's a funny thing for the foreign teachers teaching in China. They often say to me that we can't use gas burners because foreigners have basically blown up their apartments in China in the past using gas. Apparently we don't know how to use gas. So some schools might not let you use gas. Uh, but luckily this school does. If you don't have a gas burner, they'll probably just give you a hot plate. But I definitely prefer gas for all the cooking that I do. Okay, over here is the water tank. So you can't drink the water out of the tap in China, which you've probably also heard. All your drinking water needs to be from a bottle or from the tank. So you'll probably have one of these there. If not, it's cheap to buy. And then these, you can arrange to have someone deliver them to your apartment. You don't have to worry about carrying these up the stairs yourself if you can't or you really don't want to. Okay. So let's go over into this room. So I didn't really talk about the layout of the apartments yet, but you'll probably have, uh, you'll generally have one living area, kitchen area, and then a bathroom. That's usually basic. We're kind of lucky here to have two bedrooms, but you'll usually have somewhere in the realm of two big rooms, maybe one more. Uh, all right, in here, I wanted to point out the air conditioning unit. 
you'll probably just have one air conditioning unit in one room. Uh, the rest of your apartment's going to heat up in the summertime, um, and you'll probably come to this room, run to this room for cover. Um, on the other hand, let's talk about the heating. Uh, if you are in the north part of China, it's my understanding if you're in the north part of China, you'll have these heater radiator style things. In the south, you might not have those at all. Um, but in my experience, whether you're in the south or the north, you'll probably need those. You'll, you'll probably need some kind of heating equipment. So you may have to go out to a department store and get yourself an extra space heater, no matter if you're in the north or the south. Okay, and over here, I just want to give you a quick look. Well, first at the street below me, gives you a quick glimpse of the scene. And I want to show you here is a little device to dry the clothes. It pushes out on a hinge, and you can dry your clothes there. I had a laugh at my last university when a couple of American girls said, we're having trouble finding the dryer. Yeah, anybody will be hard-pressed to find the dryers. The great majority of people here dry their clothes in the air, which is fine by me. Alright, and last, I think I want to go over here and talk about the internet. When you come to your apartment, there will most likely be a line for the internet to use the university's uh, internet, and you might have to chat with your boss to get the passwords or the IP address for that, and you can link up that way. But of course, a lot of us want to use the Wi-Fi. So if the foreigner before you had this internet modem, then you'll just need to get the password for that and you'll be able to start using that right away otherwise you might need to buy your own but these aren't too expensive a few hundred quai to buy the device and get a few months of service and then you'll be in business so you'll probably have to get that um, when you arrive so just by way of summary um, the pros of the apartments in China here is that they're free the school is usually going to pay for your apartment completely and if you and uh, the location is also great, you'll be in or near the school. If you're outside of the school, uh, in some apartments that are not within the school's jurisdiction, they'll probably give you, most likely give you, some kind of stipend to help you pay for that. Uh, the downsides are they can be a little bit old and unclean. Um, so when you come, you will you can expect that you'll have to put in a little elbow grease to get it looking nice. And uh, don't let anything that I said today deter you. I think uh, most of us are coming for the great China adventure and the experience. Um, so if you want to learn a little bit more about this topic, you can go to the website where I've added a little more details on these things.